Okay, in this video, I want to show you how masking works. Um, it's a pretty neat workflow in Affinity. Uh, a little bit of drag and dropping to clip things and all sorts of stuff. So let's get started. I'm going to start by creating a vector shape just with a rectangle. And let's just pick, uh, you know, let's, let's go with red. I think that'll be pretty visible for you guys. So here's this shape in Affinity. And it's pretty straightforward as far as masking. In the layer studio over here or panel, whatever you want to call it, uh, you have these icons down at the bottom. So this one here that looks like a rectangle with a hole punched in it, that's your masking layer. So you, if you click that, it's going to apply a masking layer to the layer that you have selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So now basically what you're seeing is you're seeing an icon for both the actual artwork layer itself and the mask layer. So with the mask layer selected, uh, what you're able to do now is all sorts of different things. Um, for instance, I can use a raster brush, and let's say I select this soft round, and I'm going to start painting with black in this layer because by default, uh, when you select a mask, it's going to everything's going to be 100% visible. And the point to a mask is being able to um, non-destructively edit a layer, like removing parts of it. So, uh, with that brush selected, the color black uh, selected, I'm going to go ahead and with my mouse just start brushing in and what you're going to see is I'm exposing the transparency grid behind it. So essentially what I'm doing is erasing. But the really fantastic part is at any point in time I can turn this mask off and you can see that I've, I haven't edited, I haven't destroyed my artwork because it's still there. I'm just destroying it through the mask. Now what I want to do is I'm going to show you the inside of the mask and the way we can do that is by holding down alt and clicking on the thumbnail for that mask layer. So what you can see now, like I told you before, by default, everything's white in the mask, and I painted in this black. And the different percentage uh, percentages of black, you know, these areas that are kind of a light gray, uh, are going to be the different percentages of visibility that you can see here. So I'm going to hold down Alt and click that mask again. Um, and that's what's really useful about masks. And that's, you know, basically what's going on when I create some of these macros is we're going through different levels um, and steps to create really complex masks um, with rasterization. I just want to make sure you understand how they work and what you can do with them. So now let's go back out. And another really cool thing in Affinity is you can play with masks by adjusting through levels. So you could click on the mask, head up to filters and colors. You can do auto levels and all sorts of different things. Um, but but uh, you know these are going to be permanent changes. But I want to do editable changes that, just in case um, I don't like them, I can just remove them quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use an adjustment layer. So I'm going to head over to my adjustments, and I'm going to go to levels. And uh, once I've selected that, it's going to throw a new layer, which is in a uh, levels adjustment layer, and the levels um, dialog is going to pop up. So what I actually want to do is I'm going to take this layer and I want to clip it to the mask so that it's only affecting the mask. Up here it's going to affect everything including my artwork. For example with the master layer selected, if I start playing with the white it's going to change the color of um, this rectangular layer. I don't want that happening so what I'm going to do is click hold and drag on uh, onto the icon for the mask layer and then you'll see that little blue bar to the right of the mask layer. Once I see that I'm going to release. So now that I've released it, you can see the uh, indentation that the mask layer has uh, in regards to, in reference to the, the rectangular layer, the levels gets applied that same indentation. So now that that's there, I'm going to double click the layers to pull it up. And the way that we uh, adjust with levels a mask layer is if I click on the master um, channel, uh, I get the drop down and you can see the different color channels, red, green, blue, and alpha. All four of these combined are what the master layer is. But what I want to do is I just want to play with the mask layer, so I want to make sure I select the alpha channel. And with the alpha channel selected, um, what I'm going to now do is adjust what is inside that mask. And if you remember, we painted the, the, the black into that white layer, so anything black uh, erases. So naturally, with the levels, if I take this black and I start to bump it up, uh, you'll see that nothing happens. So maybe I didn't adjust that properly. Let's go ahead and with this levels um, 
adjustment layer selected, I need to make sure it's stacked above the mask. So we'll go to Arrange, and we're going to move, uh, move to Front. We'll accomplish that. So now that that's moved into the right place, if I move that black, you'll see that we're now properly adjusting um, the mask. So as I bump up the black, it's increasing the erasing effect. Okay, uh, And the reverse is the same for the white. So if I select white and I pull more white into my mask, you can see I start to close that mask. So if I do a combination of the two, you can see that I can create a really nice smooth edge. Uh, and that's how some of the function um, some of the stuff that I'm doing gets applied. But this is really cool, and you can see how you, you can edit that stuff. But the key takeaways here I wanted to show you is even through my mistake, you can see um, you're probably learning how to properly clip uh, a layers adjustment to a mask. So uh, just to start from the beginning, let's delete this mask, delete the levels. Here's our artwork layer. With that artwork layer selected, I'm going to apply a mask to it. In the mask, I'll paint something just arbitrary for now. And then while that mask is selected, I'm going to go to Layer Adjustments, hit Levels, and you'll see it doesn't clip it to it automatically. So the way we have to do that is click, drag that icon on top of Mask, make sure it's stacking above. So go to Arrange, move to Front, so that it's now on top. And now, with that Levels dialog, I can go into the Levels dialog, change the channel to Alpha so that I'm editing just the mask, and then I can play with it my heart's content. So that is levels and you can apply that information to the previous videos uh, where I was showing you how to play with a knockout editable version which allows you to do the same thing. Keep in mind you don't have to settle on levels you can use you know really any adjustment here if it um, is going to play with the black and white and give you access to the alpha channel. So I hope you took something away from this. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.